oh dear, what are you going to do when it's not garage sale season, but you love shopping at garage sales? Well, Mary Hans Mischief has found a place where we can shop indoors with all the same great stuff that you'd find at a flea market or at a garage sale. Well, this is the Phoenix Flea Market out in Old Hickory, and you know, this is a good place to get your fix during these winter months when you can't go to the garage sales. Now, these deer are not really what I would be after, but $69.95, I'm not sure whether that's a good deal or not, but it's something worth seeing for sure. Seventy bucks, right? <laughs> Seventy bucks. <laughs> you are so funny. There's look so many the, fun things the here, though. These scales for 125. Now I'm probably not going to buy those, but that's really fun to see that. Yeah, that's what we really enjoy about a place like this. Is there's so much nostalgia here? Take a look at this. Who remembers the kind of rotating Christmas light that goes with the aluminum tree? Yeah. You know, it's 74.95. I mean, that's a bargain at any price. <laughs> but you know, this is the kind of place that this is huge. It's 23,000 square feet. Uh, there's there's 63 different uh, vendors who have booths in here, so they're all different kinds of things. And this time of year, almost every one of the booths has a has a sale going on with 20% off or even 50 or 75% off because they say they're getting ready for the spring when they have to really compete with the yard sales. Just about anything you're looking for, you can find in the Phoenix flea market. I mean, this place is humongous. It is humongous, and it's the kind of place that you see brand new things in boxes. Um, you see really old things that might have a little rust or dirt on them. Um, you see glassware. You know, they say that a lot of the things that people used to collect, um, like some of the glassware and dolls and things like uh, silver plate, are, are really hard to uh, sell these days, that they're not as much in demand. But there's plenty of things that are in demand. I mean, I just, you, you can walk through here and it, you got to take your time because there are shelves and you got to look up and down. There's all kind of stuff. If you look through the hundreds of booths, you'll see lots of interesting antiques. This one still has the paper in it. It's beautiful lane chest here. Well, it's $159, but it, had, it was $189 before. And it's cedar. You know, that's something that, you know, it, it keeps things really nice. And it has a little damage to it here on the top, but... You could clean you know, that you up. You could probably clean that up, but it really is pretty. I like that. We've seen and some useful. nice furniture pieces around, too. I mean, dressers for $75 and... Right, and you know, this upholstered furniture is not what you're going to find here, but some of the antiques, I thought some of the prices were great. So some of the trendier things that people are collecting these days you can find here, like milk glass. Apparently that's making a comeback. Well, they're using it for weddings is what we're told. Mm -hmm. um, but the jewelry does well too, and they've got fishing lures. You know, this is not just for women shoppers. There's some men shoppers too, and the fishing lures, there were new ones and there were some that seemed to be vintage. But there was everything here. I mean, you saw everything from household items to clothes, uh, to scarves, to toys. I mean, some collectible, some not so collectible. There's a very intriguing drawer called Guy Stuff <laughs> that I encourage you to just open up and see what's in there. It's kind but of you fun. Never know. This is a treasure hunt. It is a treasure hunt. And it's the kind of place that if you come this week, you'd find some things. If you come next month, you'd probably find some different things. I, I think this is really fun. And if you find a treasure you want to take home, you may want to try to bargain a little bit. Right, if anything that's over $20, you can ask for a discount. And I think it's reasonable to ask for 10% maybe. Um, you know, they can always say no. There's some, some of their vendors probably do not do that. But I think in general, 10% off, you, you'd be okay to ask that and probably get it. Never hurts to ask. Okay, so if we want to come shopping at the Phoenix Flea Market, where do we go? All right, on Old Hickory Boulevard, it's called Robinson Road. It's this point, but it is Old Hickory Boulevard in Old Hickory. Um, it's open seven days a week. Uh, th this is good shopping for that fix while we can't get to the yard sales. All right, we're going to come out and shop out here. It sounds like a really fun place. I think we need a little more time, don't you? <laughs> I do too. Let's do it. You've got to spend some time in here. All right, Mary, thanks a lot. Thanks, stay cheap.